It's Tuesday, March 11th, 2014. Good morning, I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from MealWeather.com. It'll be partly cloudy today with warm temperatures. We'll take a look and see how warm it'll get today. We have a big winter mess in store for tomorrow. Get all of the details on that storm, including how much snow to expect. And is spring in sight? Get all the details and much more starting right now. at the new other 3d max doppler radar this morning we are looking at the beginning of the storm system that's going to affect us later tonight and through the day on wednesday the cold air the snow is up here in the northern plains and then the warm air and the rain is down here along the gulf coast these are both going to merge uh, generally south of ohio and uh, that will make for a real wintry mess. We're going to have all the details in today's video here, so be sure to stick around for all that. We also have our snowfall estimates as well. Uh, but for today, well, not too bad. Some mid-high level clouds moving across the area at times. That's going to be enough to block out the sun, but temperatures are going to be pretty warm today. As a matter of fact, right now in downtown Cleveland, 42 degrees. Otherwise, 40 just about everywhere else. 43 Mansfield. 36 in Ashtabula is kind of the cool spot this morning. These are some mid and high level clouds here across much of northern Ohio. So you're going to see some filtered sunshines. However, at times the sun may disappear. But you're going to see breaks of sun through the day. And um, it's actually going to be a pretty nice day. Light winds. Temperatures are going to rise into the middle 50s, I think, once again. I think some of these clouds will break up this afternoon. So we'll go with partly cloudy skies with highs in the middle 50s. Be sure to enjoy it today because we have some major changes in the forecast coming. We're looking at our future cast now for the storm system coming in late tonight and through the day on Wednesday. Right now we're looking at the NAM model. You've probably heard of those terms a couple of times this winter and uh, pretty much it agrees with uh, some of the other major models including the short range models and with the last system we had of this type the short range models did really really well so I'm gonna go ahead and show this because it does go out a little bit further than the short range models so as we get into the nighttime here here we are at 2 a.m. this evening now keep in mind we're gonna see some rain showers at time this is precipitation type so it doesn't always show all the rain or snow or anything like that but it does show precipitation type that we expect to see so here we are 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, notice rain all the way up to the lakeshore, Cleveland, Mansfield, Akron, Canton, and Youngstown. And we got some pink out here towards uh, Sandusky, down towards Finley. That is freezing rain. Now watch this as we get through the day. Here we are at um, 11 a.m. We have freeze rain along the lakeshore through downtown Cleveland, the rain, and then points south and west. And then as we get through the day, here we are, 1 o'clock. Freezing rain, and then this orange color is actually some sleet. And we could see some sleet. I think the predominant uh, mixed precip type or uh, ice will be freezing rain. Notice though, rain still hanging around Akron, Canton, Youngstown. And then we get into the backside snow. Now, this model moves the snow out a little bit slower. Uh, the GFS takes that a little bit faster. So uh, it all depends. The, sh the short range models, the high resolution short range models aren't out through tomorrow morning. Yet. That'll be later today we see that. And now as far as snow, how much snow are we going to see here? This is all up in the air just a little bit still. Uh, this model shows uh, something it hasn't shown the past few days. It's a couple days I should say. It's showing uh, pretty much over a foot up here in the snow belt. It's actually showing 14 inches there and about 12 to 13 inches here. I think that's a little bit overdone. Um, however, out here we could see, and you'll see on our uh, forecast in just a moment, 6 to 10 inches of snow or so. Um, as we get into the GFS for snowfall amounts, a lot less, anywhere from 3 to 6 inches generally. So we're going to have to find out where this low tracks and how soon the uh, precipitation changes over to all snow. That will dictate our snowfall amounts. More details on that coming up in just a moment. Before we get to more details on the storm, let's take a quick look at the Almanac. Yesterday's high was 57 degrees. That was 12 degrees above the average high. 
thank goodness, finally above average temperatures. The low 37, our record high today 73, a trace of rain for yesterday, we're at a quarter inch of uh, liquid precipitation for the month, about three and a half inches of snow. Sunrise is at 7.45 a.m. and sunset is at 7.29 p.m. We do have a winter storm watch in effect for much of our area. This takes effect early tomorrow morning and lasts through Wednesday night. Generally, if you're north of Akron, uh, that is where the winter storm watches. And then as you get west of there, down towards Worcester and Mansfield, that is also where the watch is as well. Now, if you're not in the watch, that doesn't mean you're not going to get anything. You're still going to get some snow, but you're not going to see as much. Uh, the watch is in effect for you know uh, significant snow and also some ice. Now, how much snow are we going to get? Well... Right now, where the thinking is about three to six inches of snow is going to fall generally across much of the watch area right now. Akron, Mansfield to about Warren and points north are going to see that snowfall. South of there, generally one to three inches of snow is possible. Just about everybody's going to see a glaze of ice. Um, so keep that in mind. And that's going to be before the snow falls on top of it. So things are going to kind of slick out there. Any untreated surfaces will have ice on it so such as cars um, sidewalks and even the trees perhaps as well um, now two things here up towards uh, Sandusky we could see a little bit more snow six eight inches of snow maybe a little bit more it depends where the heaviest snow ends up we think much of it is going to end up out over the lake and into uh, lower Michigan however we could also add parts of Ashtabula County going into northwestern Pennsylvania to a little bit more snow so some areas may see a little bit more snow um, but generally area wide three to six inches north of Akron Mansfield to Warren one to three south of there our forecast for today partly cloudy skies across here it's pretty nice out today gonna get very warm a high of 56 degrees winds will be light out of the southwest We'll start your morning off at 7 a.m. with partly to mostly cloudy skies in some spots, 35 degrees. We're up to 45 by 11 a.m., 53 at 2 p.m., and 55 by 5 p.m. Keep in mind, uh, there's going to be some times where uh, we may not see the sun for a little bit. Some of those high clouds are just thick enough to block it out. But I think some of them are going to clear out through the day, and uh, we'll have a nice, pleasant day on store. It'll be the calm before the storm, though. Uh, and for tonight, clouds will increase early. We're going to see rain showers build into the area after 10 o'clock. Rain's going to be a good bet for the commute to work. We'll drop to around 38 degrees. The winds will start to pick up. They'll be out of the northeast and the east, 5 to 10 miles per hour. But then they really get going on Wednesday. So let's take a look at the seven-day forecast. Rain to a freezing rain mix, maybe some sleet to over to snow by the afternoon for sure. Temperatures will get to about 40, maybe a little bit warmer, and then they're going to literally plummet. There's some very cold air coming in behind this system. Again, we looked at the snowfall amount. Could be three to six inches of snow. Cleveland, Akron, and points north. And, and then south of there, one to three inches. It's going to be very windy going into Wednesday night with the backside snow coming to an end, generally by about 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Winds could gust during the day on Wednesday, anywhere from about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Wednesday night, they could easily gust to 40 miles an hour, if not a little bit more, before they start subsiding. Look at that low, 7 degrees. With that wind out there, you can bet wind chills are going to be below zero, probably about 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Yeah, welcome to Ohio. Uh, decreasing clouds for your day on Thursday, but much colder. 20 is the high, and it's going to be a struggle to get there. But we're back up to the low 40s for your Friday, partly cloudy skies. And then we get a little disturbance kind of coming through. We get two of them actually for the weekend. Friday night and the Saturday we get a little disturbance from the northwest. That's pretty much a very weak clipper system coming through. We'll bring a little bit of snow, maybe an inch of accumulation or so. Otherwise we'll go scattered snow showers on and off on Saturday. A high of 35, 32 for your Sunday. Clouds will increase. Another disturbance later Sunday and Sunday night will come through. Again, maybe an inch of snow off of that as well. And then for your Monday, we could go a couple different directions here. Right now, we'll follow the colder air. We seem to get these little bouts of colder air coming in before we warm up. A little bit more cold air. So we'll let the roller coaster continue. So um, mostly cloudy for your Monday. Some scattered snow showers possible. It'll be cold. 18 degrees for your high. The other way we could go, we could go into the mid-30s. So it all depends what model solution you want to follow. 
It's going to change. It's a very unsettled pattern going over the next week. Be sure to stay right here to NeoWeather.com for the very latest forecast.